Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick Q&A video and also announce the winners for my glass skin giveaway video. For those that don't know, I held like a giveaway recently where I am giving away over $1,000 worth of Korean skincare. Um, I partnered up with Style Korean and we're giving away 20 packages from Benton um, to 20 lucky winners. So I'm going to announce the winners of that giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Also, I wanted to welcome a bunch of my new subscribers. I know a bunch of you have joined this channel in the past months from my Filipino mukbang video. And I just wanted to say, hey, welcome, welcome to my channel. And I appreciate that you guys subscribed. Um, I also need to address something. I have to address the fact that, yes, I did not know what bagung or the shrimp paste was. And I did not know that I had to eat it with the kare kare. Um, I have a ton of Pinoy and Pinay people coming at me like day in and day out about that. Um, and yes, I apologize for not eating the kare kare with the shrimp paste. It would have actually made the kare kare taste so much better, I think, because I feel like that saltiness would have gone so well with that peanut sauce. So, you know, next time I do a video like that, I will make sure to add bagung. With that said, I'd love to hear if you guys would like me to make that mukbang video sort of like a regular series on my channel. I could maybe try different foods from different countries or I could just keep trying foods from the Philippines. Let me know if you guys want to see um, kind of like a series like that in my channel and leave me a comment down below. Okay, so Q&A time. Um, so I got a question from actually a Korean subscriber who asked, uh, Ricky Nim, 직접은 뭐예요? Which basically translates to, Ricky, what is your job? Um, for those that don't know, I am a full-time digital marketing specialist for a skincare company here in Vancouver, BC. Um, that is my full-time gig. YouTube is just a side hustle. So I do, um, I majored in communications at university and I've uh, worked in marketing for about like 10 years now, which is insane. Um, and that is what I do. And that is how I make my bread and butter. Cool, next question. Um, somewhat personal question this subscriber asks. He asks, how do you manage your personal finances? You're like 28, I'm not 28 now. I'm a lot older than that now. Um, you live in the city and it looks like you live pretty lavishly. Mm. I'm almost graduated from university with a degree in accounting and by 28, I don't think I would be able to live like you do. Thanks for reading if you do. Well, I've got to apologize to you. This question is like two years old and I'm just getting to it now, but um, I love this question. Um, managing personal finances is like an ongoing process for me. I am not perfect at it, but I've gotten a lot better at it over the years. And I just want to relay maybe like three tips for you and my other subscribers in terms of managing your money and in terms of managing kind of like your personal finances. So my first tip is that in university, make sure you come out of university with a hard skill, something that is tangible, something that is employable. Um, that could be something like learning Photoshop or learning how to code or learning how to operate a really specific piece of software. You need to come out of school knowing one thing that is in demand so that you can kind of get a job right away after you graduate because as soon as you get a job, you're gonna be able to kind of um, start earning a lot more money and negotiating higher salaries. Um, but if you kind of wait a little bit and you can't get a job out of university right away, um, it kind of um, delays your ability to kind of increase your income. My second piece of advice is you need to have multiple streams of income, um, especially in this decade and with COVID and everything. I think it's really important to have not rely just on one source of income for yourself. And that pretty much means that it's a good time to kind of invest in learning uh, to do something to do a side hustle. That could be something like making YouTube videos and finding sponsors for those YouTube videos. Or maybe it could be becoming like a freelance graphic designer. Or maybe it can be being a online like pet sitter or I guess like a real life pet sitter or something. I think now is the time to kind of invest in doing a side hustle and getting side money. That is what I do for YouTube. YouTube is my side hustle money and it has come very handy at times. And my third tip for you in terms of managing your personal finances is to have a budget. You need to know exactly how much money it takes for you to live and how much money you can actually spend on kind of luxuries, which includes eating out, 
shopping, spending money with friends, vacations, all of that. You really need to do the math and do a breakdown in terms of how much money is going out every day and how much do I want to save for an emergency fund, things like that. Um, my general rule of thumb is that I allow myself to spend about $20 a day um, to for whatever I want to spend money on. And if I don't spend that $20 a day, it gets carried forward day after day. So I kind of make it a game for myself where I try to not spend like any money between Monday and Friday. That way I can go full out on a Saturday and just be like, you know, go out and eat and buy that and do this. And it's still all under my budget. And I found that tip to be very helpful for myself. So hopefully that'll be helpful for you. Cool. And then the next question is, do you have a recommendation for a makeup remover? Or do you think Sunjung Whip Cleanser is enough? Um, I don't think Sunjung Whip Cleanser is enough to get rid of your makeup. I think Sunjung Whip Cleanser is a great cleanser, but it's great for the second step of a double cleansing routine. So a uh, makeup remover that I would recommend to you is maybe the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. That is one that I always go back to um, when I'm not trying out a new product. That one hasn't ever broken me out and it does a pretty good job of removing all of the makeup. And then I think following that up with a Sunjung Whip Cleanser would be a really great double cleansing routine. And then my final question that I'm going to answer today is from a subby and they asked, this video is so helpful. I've had acne for years and never knew which products trigger it. I use a concealer from the same daily. Um, do you know any other good concealers that are better on the skin? I know a ton. Every cleanser, every um, concealer is better than the Sam concealer. Um, no tea, no shade, but like, yeah, that cleanser, that concealer is horrible. Um, don't use it. It'll break you out like nothing else. So throw that away into the garbage. Um, one I would recommend to you that you can get from North America that's a little bit more expensive is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That formulation is actually pretty good for people with acne prone skin. Um, a Korean one that I think is really, really good and won't break you out is uh, from Han Skin. It's a Han Skin Blemish Concealer and it comes in a little tube so it's super hygienic. And um, the only drawback with that one is that the color range is a bit limited, like a lot of Korean cosmetics, but that one is one I would recommend for you. Great. So if you guys have any other questions for me, leave them down below. And then next time I do a Q&A video, I will go and answer them. And um, yeah, cool. And now what everybody has been waiting for, I am going to be announcing the winners of my giveaway. So I picked 11 winners from my YouTube comment section and I picked nine winners for those that signed up for my newsletter. And I am going to list out the winners from the YouTube section right here. Congratulations, everybody. I am going to be DMing all of you guys on Instagram. So don't be alarmed. I'm not just like randomly sliding into your DMs, but I need to get your mailing information in order to pass that on to Style Korean to get your prize packages. And then also I want to announce the nine winners from my newsletter, which are these lucky people right here. And I've got to really thank you guys for signing up for my newsletter. Even the people that did not win, I did not expect anybody to sign up for it. And I was really happy to see that like there was a decent amount of people that subscribed to it. So I am excited. If you guys don't, you guys are not going to want to miss out on my newsletter. And if you haven't signed up for it already, like I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you sign up for it because you're going to be missing out on some good stuff. Great. And also finally, thank you for everyone that entered my contest. I read every single comment. Some of them were so touching and I was really happy to read them. It made me feel like it was worth it to do YouTube videos by reading feedback like that. So thank you. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.